A troubling trend in New York's opioid crisis. More people are dying from overdoses. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas reports it's a problem that's leaving parents grieving and doctors pushing for change. But I cherish this photo. Rich Pagano describes his son Nick as a young man full of joy, a singer, dancer, and actor, and someone Rich misses every day. He died in July of 2021 after he bought drugs on the street laced with fentanyl. I would not wish the death of one's child onto anybody. Um, it, it's indescribable what we have gone through in the last year. Nick overdosed in Connecticut, where he'd moved for addiction treatment, but he grew up in New York, where new numbers show addiction problems are getting worse. A new report from the New York State Department of Health shows opioid overdose deaths jumped 14% from 2020 to 2021, the latest numbers available. The report also shows a 13% increase in ER visits due to opioid overdoses. So this is fentanyl that's in the opioid supply. Dr. Arthur Robin Williams is a clinical psychiatrist who works with Columbia University and Ophelia Health. What can we do to get this to stop, to reverse this? So the most important thing, of course, is to not use anything from the black market, especially a pill or powder. Even a single use can be lethal or lead to permanent injury. He was in, full of character. He owned the room. After that tragic loss, Pagano wanted to help people struggling with addiction. Now he's teamed with a group focused on treatment called Release Recovery. While um, the numbers are scary, they're not just that. The numbers uh, represent our mothers, our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, our community. Release Recovery has even helped launch a fund in Nick's name to help people pay for treatment. The goal is to help prevent another broken heart. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.